Everybody is counting down the Halloween or the election, but First News reporter James Santelli tells me well, we're also closing in on Thanksgiving. It's a time of year people pitch in for others who don't have enough to eat. But the problem of chronic hunger is getting worse in our area, especially for children. James checked into that situation today at the Food Bank, and Sharon he joins us live in the studio. And good evening, Dave. School district officials in Mercer County tell me more kids need free and reduced lunches every year. And that shows that more kids are going hungry when they're not in school. Mercer County's food warehouse is now ramping up its efforts to fight that problem. Here's a recipe for you. Start with a plastic bag. Add two cans of Chef Boyardee. Then some cereal. And don't forget the milk. Toss in some other foods you like and wrap it all up. Her resto. You just made sure a child doesn't go hungry this weekend. We have kids who cry because they don't know when they're going to get fed. During the week, underprivileged kids can get free meals at school. But when the weekend comes... Sometimes those children don't eat from Friday at lunchtime until Monday morning at breakfast back at school or have very little to eat. That's where the backpack program at the food warehouse of Mercer County comes in. It's a burden released from them. They know where their food is coming from on the weekend. These volunteers filled 500 bags today, and they'll be going right to kids in eight Mercer County school districts this weekend. We're one of the poorest districts in the state, and our kids need this, so we thank everybody who has helped. The backpack program helps more and more kids every year, and today they celebrated an $88,000 grant from Walmart. Employees from the Hermitage store volunteered to fill bags. Always happy to get out of the store and get out into the community and actually have a little bit of fun and help out along the way. We know where our next meal is coming from. A child who has no control over that doesn't know. But thanks to some happy volunteers surrounded by thank you cards from the kids, that uncertainty and that hunger goes away. Now, this program has expanded over the uh, about a decade. It's been around expanding originally from one school district to now eight school districts they help out. And that money today from Walmart is enough to feed almost 400 kids in Mercer County every weekend for a whole school year. But that just takes a small bite of the problem. The food warehouse says they're always looking for more donors and more volunteers, especially as we move closer to the holidays. Live in the studio tonight, James Santelli, First News at 5.